Right, so it's, it's Monday. Um, if you've watched my first one in this series, um, I jacked it up. We've got it on some wheels, and now we've got to move it. We've got to move it across halfway in between my drive and my next door neighbour's drive so that the high ab can pick it up because he said he can't get in at the angle because it'll pull him over. So hopefully, um, when I move it, he'll be able to get it successfully then. Um, the reason why I didn't go down the crane ro road is because the council wanted, like, I think about 750, 80 quid, something like that. 700 odd pound anyway, to shut the road for a couple of hours, which I thought was ridiculous. Um, and of course I could just blag it and do it myself, but putting it on YouTube ain't good and I'll get a big fine water. So I'd like to thank everybody that's donated as well. Um, so what I said, I'm gonna set up um, a PayPal. So to help keep the channel going, if you'd like to offer a donation, that'd be fantastic. So if you go in the description, um, there's a link there to the donation on PayPal. Um, and if you can put friends and family, so that's paying tax on it, that'd be ace as well. And I'd like to thank all these people on their names that are going up bottom of the screen now for their donation as well. It's much, much appreciated. Right, so you can see over there, my neighbour's drive is actually higher than mine. He has an old garage on there and he's approximately 11 inches higher than my drive. Um, so what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to somehow get it up onto there. It's, I mean, it's up a fair bit now, but it's not up enough. So, right, so I was thinking, how am I going to do it? And then um, a guy says, um, he left a comment, he says it's like NASA moving um, a space rocket out for launch, you know, little wheels, and it moves really slowly. And then I thought, that's genius. So what I need to make is now a platform for it to sit on, a perfectly level platform, and it will move a lot easier for me, because I've obviously moved this here by myself this morning. It's quite difficult, um, just because I had to get up a little lip there. I've got about a 25mm lip on the flags. I had to get it up there, so nudged it forward, jacked it up, put my wheels back a little bit, nudged it forward again, jacked it up, and so on, until I was up onto the flags. But it's up there now. That's good. We can move now. Um, so I'm going to build this platform. Now, another guy says, why don't you roll it on um, soil pipes, you know, four-inch soil pipes, which is a brilliant idea, I think, and I, don't, I cannot see why it wouldn't work. So, but the only problem with that is it needs to be flat what it's rolling on, which obviously I'm not flat at the moment, but my platform will be flat. So I may get some pipes to roll it on that, but I've just rung Selco's now and they can't deliver till Wednesday and it's Monday, so that ain't going to happen. Um, but I did like that idea, that's brilliant. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to build this platform um, a level platform and somehow get this up on the platform and slid across. So that's the plan anyway. Right, so you can, you can see where I'm going with this now. Um, I've, I've had to buy some fence posts anyway because I'm going to actually repair the fence when I um, get it across. That was always going to happen. The ply was cheaper than softwood ply, so I've gone for that. And I'm always going to get some ply anyway because I need to protect my lawn, my AstroTurf lawn. But you'll see that when it's happening. And I need to create a ramp as well to get up over in here. And I'm going to dump all the muck on the street outside. Um, and rather than gouge all the tarmac when the grab wagon comes to pick it up, I'm going to put it on sheets. So they were always going to get bought. The scaffold boards, I hired them off a guy that I know in Leeds. Um, I'm going to need scaffold boards anyway for my trestles when I'm building my brick walls. So that, there we are with that. Um, I am now... I'm 435 millimetres off my concrete pad. And the bottom of my shoe there on my building is 200, so I need to get that building up another 235 millimetres and across. And once I get onto there, um, I have a funny feeling I'm going to be able to move it quite well. Either that or it's going to collapse and be a disaster, but I'll show you anyway. The plan, so here is the plan. Right, what I'm going to do, I'm going to jack it up, keep jacking it up side by side so I can get the bottom of them legs, these legs are here, Little wine down the legs that I've put on so I can get them so that they are level. Um, no, more than level. I need to get them, get them six inches above that deck. It's quite a way to go, yeah, because obviously what I need to do is then get them under it. Um, and how am I going to move it across? I'm now going to put my trolley jacks, my, my dollies there, under the sides rather than the front beam, which I'm not overly keen on doing because if you look at the structure there, yeah. On the front one, I had the full length, whereas the side one there, it's just, it's the side. It, 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 do you know what I mean? It's, so the front long one, I was happy with that because it was the full length of it, but this is the side. I can't get it under the corner. Um, but one way or another, I'm going to slide that across there, get it up higher, slide it across, and hopefully get it onto that deck. Oh, the, the biggest question I've got to ask myself, right, is how the hell did that stay floating? 
that one over there when that wheel fell out i just i like what the hell it was just floating in mid air it must be perfectly balanced on all of the three legs shit scary well i was gonna go to the gym tonight <laughs> and not have a drink but <laughs> i think i deserve one and i went off to the gym because i'm absolutely knackered um that, that was hard work but it's, it's there now um we'll have a look inside i did hear some at smash but <laughs> i haven't looked inside yet let's, let's have a look I suppose the telltale sign of whether or not the lock will work on the door if anything shifted. It's alright, it's working alright, is that? It opens okay. Da -da -da -da. Oh, that's what's broke. Right, let's just have a little peep in here. Um, I don't even know where that glass was. It's obviously due to rock. Oh, I'll tell you what's going on. That owl's fallen off there, to it, to it, to who? Hit that, smashed it, and that sent it flying. It's absolutely baking in here. Right, um, have we got any damage, any cracks? No, we're all looking a little dry and crack up there, but that, I don't remember seeing that before. Um, same with up there as well. So, doors work, buildings moved. Right, so I suppose whichever way you look at it, that was a success of sorts, wasn't it? That is a uh, phase, what phase is that? That's phase two done. So phase three now is to lift it somehow. Um, I'm assuming this high guy guy's gonna come good, lift it and get it in front garden and then we are good to go. Right, so before I go, I'm gonna drop a little video on here, something we did at the weekend for that car. Um, it's got to go, it's got to go, so get some tickets. Um, you'll be helping me out as well. And if you feel like you would like to donate or you liked what you've seen, then you know there's a PayPal link at the bottom as well. That'd be fantastic. That will help keep the channel going and we're trying to get to 100,000. So make sure you hit that subscribe button whether it's on that corner or that corner, just make sure you subscribe um, and help it go. So there you go, look, look, smash that subscribe button, please. All right, so that's that one done. Um, next one now, I think we might start making ramp and get digger and dumper organized. Start digging. And here it is, the Ford Ranger Wild Track. It has been detailed to an inch of its life by the guys down at Towpass. They've done an amazing job, and of course, it's had the ceramic coating. I'm going to give you a little walk around it, and then we're going to talk about what else you're going to get with this as well. It's obviously got the boot with the roller shutter on there as well. Yeah, loads of storage in there. Full leather interior as well. And it is a family car as well. We've got power in the back as there. We've got 240, and we've got 12 volt as well. Like I said, full leather interior. Definitely a family car is this. Let's have a look in the front. And the guys have obviously detailed it inside as well. It is better than brand new. It's absolutely amazing. There's only 21,000 miles on the clock as well. Somebody needs to take this off me because I am fed up of driving it. It's got 20 inch alloy wheels on finished in black as well with all terrain tires. It's also got the upgraded light kit. If you have a look at that there. Yeah, beautiful that, and it's got bull bar on as well. And you know I did bump it, of course I did. And it's been fully repaired as well, yeah? So let's have a look inside and see what features it's got. Right, so inside, of course, it's fully leather in the front as well. It's automatic as well, yeah? And it's a two litre engine, which means it's Euro 6. You can drive it in any of the clean air zones in the country without risking getting a fine. It's got push button ignition, yeah? And it's got keyless entry, so all you need is to key in your pocket. It's absolutely fantastic. Did I say it was automatic? It's got air con, it's got uh, cruise control, it's got lane assist as well. Um, it, it's got all the mod cons you would expect from a vehicle like this. Right, so that is the car. Let me tell you what else you are getting with this car as well. It comes with over £7,000 worth of tools. Now, there's a lot of tools. And do you know what? I'm going to need a hand to show you these tools. So I brought along the lovely Penny. There we go. Penny, you'd like to over there. There you go, Penny. Watch your fingers with that. It's very sharp. And do you know what? Let's get another one because I think I need another hand. And this is the beautiful Lola. There we go. If you'd like to take your place over there. Right, so I'll shut the door. So not only are you getting this Ford Ranger Wild Track, which has been beautifully detailed by the guys at Topaz, they've also thrown in the detailing kit there for you as well. Right, we're going to blast through these tools because I'm literally getting out of breath. We've got the plunge saw, we've got the radio, we've got the laser, we've got the jigsaw, we've got the hoover, we've got the table saw, we've got the chop saw, we've got the multi-tool, we've got the grinder, we've got the circular saw, we've got the hammer drill, we've got the band saw, we've got both nail guns, first fix and second fix, we've got the hoover, we've got another laser there, we've got tracks, we've got stands, and we have got the combi drill, and we've got the impact driver as well, held by the beautiful Lola and Penny. Right, not only are you winning the Ford Wild Track, you're also going to win seven grand's worth of tools more, right, and your money is helping raise 
£200,000 for candle lighters. That's a massive amount of money. We're almost at a quarter of a million pound raised for charity. Yeah, and do you know what? I'm going to also throw a grand in as well for you, so you'll be able to insure the vehicle as well. How's that? It's two pound a ticket. That is all it's going to cost you to enter this raffle. It's drawn very soon. You do not want to miss out. The tools, the truck, helping charity. Unfortunately, these aren't included. <laughs>